Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here, and in today's edition of What's on the Porch, finally, BoxyCharm showed up. <laughs> like BoxyCharm. Are you lost? Girl, do I need to send the carrier pigeons or release the monkeys to come find you? It's my September box right here at the end of September. I barely made it. I already have all of the products except for one on my face. I will show you how they performed as we go along and give you my thoughts. Let's jump right into it. The one item that I did not use is this Elemis. This is a superfood fruit vinegar liquid glow radiance facial toner. And I am quite excited to give this a try. It says for all skin types, it has apple, apricot, and cactus in it. Kim, you need some of this with the cactus in it. It brightens, balances, and exfoliates. And this retails for $36. And it says infused with glow-getting AHAs derived from apple vinegar, apricot, and peach. The gently exfoliating formula reveals a radiant, smoother-looking complexion and improved clarity and texture. This refreshing toner removes every trace of vis visible pollution and helps minimize the appearance of pores. A natural prebiotic helps support and maintain the skin's microbiome whilst prickly pear cactus nourishes the skin with vitamin and antioxidant-rich nutrients. Mild enough for twice daily use, this glow-boosting toner leaves the skin feeling balanced and looking radiant but this is what it looks like i think that's a nice size product it is 4.9 u.s fluid ounces the only my only issue i love elements they are a good brand my only issue is, is they are not considered cruelty free and it has a pump so you put your little cotton pad there and pump your product up which I don't normally use a cotton pad with these types of products because I feel like I'm just wasting the product that's all absorbed up in the cotton pad and I'd rather put it on my face. But I am very excited about that. Oh, I gotta smell it. Ooh, that smells really good and I'm not normally big on fragrances on my face, but I mean, you can smell a hint of the apple, apricot, peach, vinegar, cactus, but it smells very light and it smells very clean, so I like that. Going in order of what I put on my face, the next product is, and this was one of my choices, I chose this, the one size Brow Kiki Micro Brow Defining Pencil and for whatever reason I chose blonde but I think it looks pretty good. That is the One Size by Patrick Star Brow Kiki Micro Brow Defining Pencil. It retails for $19. And it's a 12-hour waterproof and smudge-proof retractable brow pencil. Has a sturdy precision tip for the next level detailing. Fill in the blanks with real hair-like strokes to amp up your brows for any kiki. I don't know what, what kiki means, but it did go on very easy. It, it feels a little waxy. It's not quite as waxy as some of the other brow products that I have used. I don't like a real waxy brow product. I'd rather for them to be a little bit more soft and creamy, but it did go on really well. And so, yeah, I like it. I don't see that this is any better or worse than any other brow product out there. I think that e.l.f. and ColourPop brow products are just as good and they're cheaper. The next product that I got is this Iconic London eyeshadow palette and this is the Desk to Dance eyeshadow palette. This is the perfect dance floor companion no matter where you're headed featuring 20 new 
highly pigmented shades to suit every skin tone. It will leave you spoiled for choice. The velvety soft texture and selection of mattes, shimmers, and glitters will make your eye look pop from day to night to day. And it retails for $62. And I have a few Iconic London palettes, and I haven't really played with them much. They, in my opinion, are not very pigmented. When I saw this palette, I was hopeful that it was going to be more pigmented because the shades in this palette look a little bit darker. But as you can see, I really struggled to get the shadows on my eye. I mean, it looks okay. I'm not impressed at all to the point that I'm not even going to put this in my inventory. It is going right over into the declutter bin because I just, I did not care for it. This shade here, I, as you saw, just would not go on. I pick it up with the brush the fallout was terrible, and fallout does not bother me, but it was really bad with this palette. So, and like one of the shades already, this one here that I put in the center of my eye is almost already hard panned. I'm just not impressed with it at all. And I mean, they pick up well, you know, that has a shift to it. And that one didn't swatch bad, but some of the others, I don't, they feel hard. I'm just not impressed. So I will not be keeping this palette at all. I mean, they swatch well, but I could not get those shadows to perform right on my eyes. Now, if you're new to eyeshadows and you're not used to a highly pigmented palette, I think this palette will be good for beginners. It will be a good beginner's palette to learn on because it, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can build up the shadows it would take you some time, so that would help you learn how to, how to build, how to blend, you know, what colors go together, that type of thing. So, I don't think that this is a bad palette for a beginner. It is absolutely, in my opinion, not worth $65. I'm not even sure that I would pay $30 for it, to be honest. So, but that's just my opinion. I was going to swatch the entire palette, but, you know... Like I said, I'm just, I'm not impressed, so. Moving on. <laughs> the next item that I have is this Less Beauty Felt Tip Precision Point Eyeliner. And it says Lower East Side. On it, it is black. This Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner is perfect for creating anything you desire from a bold, dramatic cat eye to an everyday subtle winged eyeliner. This easy to apply and highly pigmented formula gives intense color payoff and ultimate staying power that won't crease, smudge, or budge. Perfect for beginners or advanced users and it retails for $20. And I, seems like I have gotten one of these in an Ipsy box or bag, Ipsy bag. Ipsy has bags. <laughs> Uh, this is a nice eyeliner. One of the things that I like about it is the felt tip is kind of soft and flexible. I don't like those really hard felt tip eyeliners that drag and pull at your eye. So that went on real easy. It looks nice. I like it. The next item that I got is this NARS lipstick and it is in the shade Blonde Venus. No rules, just lips. A new formula, this dynamic blend of moringa and passion fruit seed oils enhances color vibrancy and conditions lips for radically lightweight wear and unprecedented feel. Endless artistry, infinite expression, and it retails for $26. 
This is a soft touch component which feels really nice, but at the same time it feels kind of cheap. The lipstick is very creamy. It went on really well and I actually kind of like this color. I was surprised. I didn't think that I was going to like it. I will say that uh, one of my issues with NARS is they are not a cruelty free brand and that's why this is the only time you'll see NARS on my channel is when I get it in a box. It still feels really good on my lips. The next item that I got is this Patrick Ta lip gloss and you cannot read the box. <laughs> it's very hard to read. The shade is She's Expensive which you can hardly read on there. Patrick Ta Beauty Major Glow Lip Shine. This was one of my choices. Did I say that already? A universally flattering high shine lip gloss with the cushion and slip of a lip balm for zero stickiness all shine. It retails for $22. It is not sticky at all. I am curious because it's like pearlized what it would look like, because I put it on right over top of the NARS, what it would look like by itself. I'm going to take the lipstick off and just try the gloss by itself to see what that pearlized shine looks like. I mean, it looks like a lip gloss. It does feel nice and thick, like a balm. It is not sticky at all. I'm just not a lip gloss kind of person. I just don't wear lip gloss. So. But I'm not mad at it. So if you are not subscribed to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is $39.95 a month, and I think right now they are offering a BoxyCharm X Tarte. It's an exclusive takeover box if you decide to sign up now. It's $39.99. I subscribed to BoxyCharm for a year, so I got my boxes for $35 a month. You get um, six full-size products. The average of the box value is around $215, which I have gotten over $215. This month's box is valued at $185. You get two choices. You get to pick two of your items. Of course, there's the drop shop and the mega drop shop, and now they're doing a shop that's open 24-7, kind of like Ipsy does, because, you know, Ipsy took them over. I'm not certain whether I'm going to continue with BoxyCharm or Ipsy or both, because I have noticed that there's some crossover now in their products, which I mean, you know, brands, you're bound to get some crossover, but the things that I have been seeing on the Ipsy website forever now I, that I never saw in BoxyCharm, I'm seeing in BoxyCharm. So I'm not really sure how that's going to go or if they're going to eventually let you know uh, how that's all going to play out or what the changes are going to be. So I'm kind of waiting to see. So for the September box, I'm happy with everything except for the palette. That's just a personal preference, though. I'm sure that there are a lot of people that love Iconic London. And like I said, if you're a beginner, that palette will work very well, well for you. I am quite excited about the Elemis facial toner. So I'll let y'all know how that worked out. So there we go. There's all the items in my BoxyCharm Premium Box for the month of September. Thanks for hanging out with me. Before you go, make sure you show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age or any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. Christopher, I have a tip for you if you get a bad palette that you don't like. Because some of the shades in this palette are, are kind of pretty. You could take these shades. Let's see if I can make it do it.
you can take these shades and see how I have that on my finger now and then you just put your clear nail polish over top of it and you have a multi-chrome see or if you have a lure that you know is missing some color and you need to touch it up you can use your funky eyeshadow palettes and then just put something over it because it'll wash off if you don't okay mama loves you boo